Impossible Whopper with a patty made from plants. Only at Burger King. Ba 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 ba. I'm sorry. I just ordered the Impossible Whopper. But can I get it without mayonnaise? The Impossible Whopper without mayonnaise. Right. Okay. And that's it. Today we have a, a new food item for myself. It is the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. Now, Impossible is a imitation meat-based product. It's supposed to look and taste and like like actual ground beef, and also have the texture of ground beef. I've never had it before at any restaurant chain, so I'm excited to try this. I was a little surprised. There's supposed to be 630 calories in this sandwich, which is almost identical to a regular Whopper, which I think is about 660. I was a little surprised they were that close, but of course they share the same bun and a lot of the other condiments. Now, this is uh, how it would regularly come, except I did not get mayonnaise on this. I'm not a big fan of mayonnaise, so I did hold off on the mayonnaise. Let me show you what you got. Of course, you have your uh, sesame seed bun. So it's a large size bun, tons of lettuce. You have your tomatoes, onion slices, pickles, ketchup, and then your impossible uh, burger. It's a good size sandwich. It's 9.6 ounces or it's uh, 269 grams. And that is without some mayonnaise, so it might be a couple more grams with it. Let me cut this, get a side view of what it looks like before we dig in. Now normally this is, is priced at $5.89, which is a little bit pricey for um, a fast food hamburger if you ask me. But it was on special today, so it was only... Uh, 350 I believe for the sandwich so let's give this a try it definitely tastes remarkably like beef it's very very close it <clears throat> does not have that fatty taste uh, with the fatty flavor taste that ground beef has but it is very close <clears throat> totally unlike um, a Boca burger or there's other <clears throat> veggie patties that are out in the market. It's actually really good. It's I, I, I don't think I would mistake it for ground beef. I mean, it's possible. It's almost... Um, the texture is there, but I don't think I would mistake it for ground beef. Well, who knows? It could fool me in a taste test because it is kind of close. The bun is a nice soft bun, same as the Whopper. Um, lots of lettuce on this, uh, just enough pickles and tomatoes and onions. So all together, it's a well-built burger. I'm not sure if it's a $5.89 burger though. I would have a really hard time choosing this over a regular Whopper or um, any other burger, to be honest with you. Uh, it's it was worth it to try definitely too pricey at the regular price I wouldn't recommend anybody try it at 589 even at 350 it's a little bit pricey but it's well over a half pound so you do get a lot for your money if it's on special it almost reminds me of like a soy type taste to it so if you watch my reviews, you, you know I, I like a lot of food because I don't cook myself, so I really appreciate when, some, uh, when someone prepares the food for me. It usually is okay to me. And this is an okay tasting hamburger, but it's I would not recommend this anywhere near the $5.89 price point. Even at the $3 price point, maybe if you want to give it a try, but there's just so many other options at Burger King or other stores to go instead of this uh, Impossible Burger. Even if you're, obviously if you're a vegetarian, that would be one thing. But even still, I think there'd be better options than paying almost $6 for this burger. Thanks for watching another review, and I'll see you guys again soon.